Hello everyone, welcome to Vishesh Educational Videos. In this video, I am explaining binary relational operations, join and division. Here, I am explaining join and division operations with respect to relational algebra. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. To get the notification of my new videos, please click the bell icon. And please don't forget to like the video and please don't forget to share the video with your friends. So let me begin the explanation of join and division operation with respect to relational algebra. So what is a join operation? So join operation is used to combine related tuples from two tables into a single tuple. So then in simple words, if you want to join the two tables, you can join the two tables using the join operation right so the two related records from two tables can be joined into a single record that is possible i will take the example then you will understand how i am going to join the values from two different tables into a single record right and why we need join operation means if i say a database there will be a uh, more number of tables if i say a relational database each and every information will be in the form of different different tables if i uh, no only one table is not present right so there will be a set of tables so when there is a set of table right to relate the tables to establish the relationship among the tables you need a join operation so for example to illustrate the join I am taking the example to retrieve the name of the manager of each department. I am considering the employee, sorry, company database here. So what I have to do, I have to retrieve the names of the managers of all the departments, of each department. I am going to retrieve the names of the manager of all the departments using the join operation. You can see here. So first what I am doing means, I am, uh, right? Uh, I am joining the manager SSN of the employee. See, right? I am taking the manager SSN from the employee and also I am taking the SSN from the department and I am storing the SSN of the manager in this intermediate department manager. Right? Afterwards, I am retrieving the name of all the managers that are present in this intermediate right result hope you are understanding here so this is the symbol to right this is the symbol to identify the or uh, to denote the join operation see here here i am joining department and also i am joining the manager ssn from the employee table i am joining the ssn from the department table and also i am joining the ssn from the employee table I am joining department and employee table here. So you can see there. So this is the symbol to denote the join operation and join conditions will be there. So this is the join condition. What is the join condition? Manager SSN should be equal to the SSN because manager is also an employee. He is also having the SSN. That's why whatever the employee SSN is there should be equal to the manager SSN. Then I can identify the manager from the set of employees. So this is the join condition. So for every join operation, the join condition will be there. And one more important thing, the main difference between the Cartesian project and join are in join only combinations of tuples satisfying the join condition appear in the result. So Cartesian product explanation, right, is the, in the playlist DBMS. You can go to the playlist uh, database management system. There you can uh, see related to the Cartesian product. If you know, if you want to know more about the Cartesian product, but Cartesian product and join differences. Join only display the records that is going to be satisfy the join condition. Here, what is the condition? Manager SSN should be equal to the SSN of the employee. Then only the result will be displayed. Only the values that is. Uh, equal to the only the values uh, SSN value equal to the manager SSN will be displayed. That is the 
that is enjoyed but in cartesian product it's not a case whatever the tuples whatever the combination of tuples is there every tuple will be displayed irrespective of condition no conditions will be there in cartesian product every values will be displayed but in join the join condition should be satisfied right so to explain the different types of joins i am uh, considering four tables here different types of tables first is a student table second is a student sports table and third is all sports table and lastly right table four is the employee table so i am considering this four table and explaining different variations of join in detail now with respect to relational algebra so first is a equi join so equi join is a special case of conditional join so conditional join i will explain in upcoming videos so far you should understand that equi join means right so equi join display the pair of attributes where only equality condition holds right as the values of two attributes will be equal in result of equi join only one, one attribute will be appeared in result that means equality join what it will do it will take two attributes it will compare the values of the two attributes if the values of the two attributes is equal then only it will display the result and only one attribute will be displayed right to understand this in a more better way i'm taking the example here it's a very easy one see here so i have to select the students whose roll number is equal to the employee number of employees it is very simple roll numbers i have to select the student whose roll number is equal to the employee numbers of employees see i am writing the join condition here so which is the where i have to take the roll number from student table i have to take the student roll number and from the employee table i have to take the employee employee number c so what is the table student table and next employee table i am taking the employee number from the employee table and i am taking the roll number from the student table and i am checking whether the roll number is equal to the employee employee number of the employees c so what is the result roll number 1 4 1 4 roll number is displayed now we will check this c what is the roll number One, one is displayed, right? See, you can see. Roll number one, name Ram, address Delhi, phone, age. You can see here. Employee number one, name Ram, address Delhi, phone, age eighteen. If you take Ramesh, Ramesh is not there. If you take Sujit, Sujit is not there. Here. See, Suresh, yes. Roll number four. Here also roll number four is there in employee number, and all the see all the details are same. All the details of the every attribute is same. So equal roll number of the student is equal to the employee number of the employee. That is one and four. That's why you can see here the result contains one and four roll number and whatever the details present. name details address details that is also displayed you can see see here this roll number is from student right see ram delhi here also ram delhi it because two tuples right one is from student one is from employee here also one is from student one is from employee joined see here how many rows are there two rows but here you can observe two rows are combined combined or joined into a single rows sorry single row right two rows are joined into a single row hope you are understanding now with respect to the join condition that is equi join if it is equal only it will join hope you are understanding suppose if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section so next is a natural join so it is a special case of equi join in which equality condition holds on all attributes 
which have the same name in relations here i have to check the equality condition on all the attributes those so having the same name in the relations r and s right while applying a natural join on two relations there is no need to write equality condition because uh, natural join obviously it will take the values uh, equal values only that's why explicitly you have, uh, it's not necessary to write the equality condition here i have written it explicitly but there explicitly it is not required in a natural sorry in a natural join right and one more important thing natural join will also return the similar attributes only once as their value will be same in the resulting relation here also the attributes will be written only once you can see right see i will explain this no worries so what is the example select students whose rule uh, roll number is equal to the roll number of students sports so see see here the see the join condition what is what is the condition here you have to select the students whose roll number i am not writing the equality condition here here i have written the equality condition student roll number no here i am not writing it because it is naturally it will take the roll numbers which is equal that's why i am not writing it so i have to check the roll number equal to the roll number of the student sports see naturally it will take the uh, it will take the values that are equal in both the student and student sports explicitly i am not using the operator like this hope you are understanding see so roll number 1 2 2 4 see first i will take up the example so which is the table student student sports right in a student see what are the result one is displayed right ram delhi in a student sports sorry yeah this is the table right so what is the roll number there one bad pattern see observe the result see ram address phone age sports is what bad pattern it is equal right sorry it is equal i displayed next two ramesh see ramesh what is that roll number cricket it is displayed ramesh is also displayed because two roll number is there in student also one is there in student also it is there in one student sports also in the, it's there in the student also but three c c c three is not there in the student so check the result now see again ramesh bat beaten it is displayed because two again two is there right that's why again one more time it will take the ramesh value from the student it will write that three it won't take sujit it won't take because naturally three is not there in the student sports equality condition doesn't hold that's why it will take again two only it will display this next four yes four is there it will take suresh again it will join both the tables see so yeah it takes suresh so here it won't take sujit sujit roll number is 3 that roll number 3 is not in student sports that are not equal that's why hope you are understood the difference in equal join you have to explicitly give the equal condition but in natural join is not necessary by default it will take the equal values values that are equal so this is the result in right you have seen that right so natural join is by default is a inner join natural join can be also called as inner join because tuples which does not satisfy the condition of join does not appear in the result yes obviously so in this example in this result example the roll number 3 it is not match with the student sports that's why it has not been a part of the result set you know that only the value that is matched will be displayed right that's why natural join 
is like a inner join because it contains only the result that is going to satisfy the condition right so that's why natural join is also called as inner join by default it will take the values that are equal next is a division operator the division operator you can see there it uses a division symbol so division operator can be applied between two right two relations a and b if and only if if you want to apply a division operator between two relations a and b if and only if there are conditions then only you can apply the division operator if this condition works good between two tables a and b c attributes of b is a proper subset of attributes of a attributes of b should be a proper sets of attributes of a i will explain that with example don't worry next condition is what the relation returned by a division operator will have attributes all attributes of a minus all attributes of b all attributes of a but minus all attributes of b i will take that example no worries next what is the next condition the relation returned by the division operator will return those tuples from a relation a which are associated to every b tuple every value every tuple from a should associated with the every b tuple first table value should be associated with the second record or second table values i will explain that see so consider the relation student sports i am considering here and all sports so i am considering table 2 and 3 so these are the tables so student sports i'm considering all sports these two tables i am considering student sports and the all sports and i will uh, apply the division operator between these two tables see here it's a very simple to apply the division operator you can see student operator sorry student sports divided by all sports so all attributes of a minus all attributes of b you can see here i'll explain this the operation is valid as attributes in all sports is a proper subset of attributes in student sports attributes in all sports is a proper set of attributes in student sports that is attributes in all sports right is a proper set of student sports see sports attributes is present in the student sports also that's why right all sports is a proper subset of student sports all sports is a proper subset of student sports next the attributes in resulting relation will have attributes for example roll number comma sports minus sports will be is equal to roll number so what is the con next condition the relation returned by the division operator so what is the uh, the result will be in the form of what is that all attributes of a minus all attributes of b so what you get in the result what attribute you will get in the result see roll number comma sports you can uh, observe here roll number comma sports next year sports sorry sorry roll number comma sports year sports i will have to minus roll number comma sports with the sports i have to minus this sports with the sorry roll number comma sport i will uh, minus that see when i minus roll number comma sports with the sports i will i will be right i will get the roll number only the result will contain the attribute roll number the result will contain the attribute roll number because i subtracted the sports you know that now what is the third condition the tuples in the resulting relation will have those roll numbers which are associated with all b tuples for example see 
what is the condition here the tuples in resulting relation will have those roll numbers it will have the roll numbers which are associated with all b tuple that is badminton comma cricket see i'll explain this so what are the roll numbers for badminton comma cricket 1 2 2 4 1 2 4 One, two, four, and one more important thing. See, badminton, comma cricket. Badminton is for two, cricket is also for two, but for one, cricket is not there. For four, cricket is not there. Cricket and badminton both, right? Cricket and badminton is for. the roll number 2 for 2 cricket is also there bat peter is also there for 1 cricket is not there for 4 cricket is not there see see roll number 1 and 4 are associated to bat peter only but roll number 2 is associated to all tuples of b so the resulting relation will have 2 what is the tuples of b here So these are the tuples of B. What is that? Bat, pitcher, and cricket. So roll number two is associated to cricket also. Roll number two is associated to bat, pitcher also. That's why the result will be two. But you can see there, bat here roll number one is associated with only bat, pitcher. Roll number is only associated four is associated with only bat, pitcher. Roll number one is not associated with the cricket. Roll number four is also not associated with the cricket. Only the roll number two is associated with both cricket and bat, pitcher. that are tuples of the all sports right you know that only roll number 2 is associated with both bat pitcher and cricket that's why the result will be the result will be 2 and it contains only the the result contains only the roll number you know that and the result is what 2 hope you understood guys if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section Thank you thank you for watching the video